And we welcome you to the Deerfoot Inn and Casino in South Calgary, Alberta, where we gather for Teofista Boxing Series 18. And in our main event of the evening, we have a 154 pound Canadian title fight for the CPBC Canadian title. It is a junior middleweight bout scheduled for 10 rounds between Calgary's Jenks Trotter and William Lake, British Columbia's Stuart McClellan. We now go to announcer Tim Sweet for the particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Professional Boxing Council would like to announce this the main event of the evening. Ten rounds of boxing for the Canadian Professional Boxing Council Super World Fight Championship. This bout is sanctioned by the Canadian Professional Boxing Council. President Mr. Don Collette, your supervisor at ringside, Mr. Jamie Taylor. Your judges at ringside for this bout are Glenn Dawson, Brian Niedrecht, Terry Conkin. Your referee in charge for this fight is Joel Stover. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hand together because it's about to get serious! This is your main event, CPBC Super Bowl Boy title. It is presented by Team of Promotions in global operation with fan-based promotions. In schedule for 10 rounds. In the blue corner, standing at 5'9", inches is called weighing on 153 pounds with a pro record of 9 wins, 2 losses, 1 draw. And the stage is set for our opening round. Stuart McClellan in the red corner wearing the red trunks. Jenks Trotter in the blue corner wearing the white and black trunks. Referee squares the men off in the center of the ring. And we are underway. Fighters meet in the center of the ring. McClellan looking to use the real estate of the ring to move around and avoid what he says will be an early storm that he expects from Jenks Trotter, who likes to come forward. Trotter measuring McClellan with the jab. McClellan looking to establish distance with his own jab, something that will be important for him in the bout moving forward. Good right hand to the body by Trotter. And McClellan stands his ground and comes back with a right. Trotter loves to come forward, is a very aggressive fighter. Let's see what kind of pressure he can put on McClellan early. McClellan backs to the ropes where he doesn't want to be and absorbs an uppercut. Trotter coming forward in the early going and lands a good right hand followed by a body shot. McClellan seems to take it well and looks to move. Good right hand to the body by, by Trotter. Another right hand over the top. Good left hook by McClellan, who's looking to use the ring to his advantage. More early pressure by Trotter. Looking to keep McClellan with his back on the rope, where he does his best work. Couple of good jabs by Trotter, back McClellan up. Good body shot. 
Oh, another good body shot by Trotter. And some clinching in the early going. Nice left hook by McClellan. Hard right hand by Trotter. Continues to back McClellan up in the early going, which no doubt is his plan for the evening. Using that effective pressure that he's come to be known for. A very crowd-pleasing style. Good counter left hook by McClellan. And a good uppercut on the inside by McClellan. Good right hand over the top by Trotter. And a nice left hook on the inside by McClellan. Ooh, they're really exchanging now. Good right hand by Trotter backs McClellan up. And some good exchanges in the early going to start round one. McClellan looking to stand his ground. He said he would try to avoid Trotter's power early, and it hasn't been easy. Some good right hands and effective pressure by Trotter in the early going as the crowd here on their feet, supporting the local fighter. But McClellan has hung in there so far. And the referee calls time. Looks as though McClellan's mouthpiece has come out. And the referee, waiting for an acceptable lull in the action, replaces the mouthpiece and resumes the action here in round one. Trotter still looking to put his foot on the gas as things come to a close and the opening stands up. Underway with round two. Trotter looking to pick up where he left off. Hammers McClellan with a right hand over the top. Still looking to force him back to the ropes where he does his best work. It's going to be a big priority for McClellan to keep his back off the ropes in the second round. Looks to stand his ground and cracks Trotter with a right hand. More pressure from Jenks. And as the fighters begin to clinch. Trotter still looking to seize the initiative. And continue coming forward as the aggressor. As McClellan looks to get his jab cooking. Good right hand by McClellan on the way in. Trotter looking to use his strength. He is viewed as the bigger, stronger man, despite the height or that being at the height disadvantage. Backs McClellan up to the ropes. Good left hook to the body. McClellan responds with a right hand and a jab and looks to move to his right, seemingly out of the way of Trotter's right hand, which is one of his premier weapons. Good left hook by Trotter. And a good right hand. Momentary, momentarily trapping McClellan in the corner. BC fighter doing his best to stay out of the way. All aggression in the early rounds from Jenks Trotter. Seems to be carrying the way so far. Good uppercut on the inside. McClellan, looking to weather the early storm, comes back with a few right hands of his own. Good body shots by Trotter. Good right hand over the top. See Trotter switching to the southpaw stance and landing a few left hands over the top. And a little bit of wrestling. As McClellan is thrown down, it is ruled a slip. No knockdown. As the referee looks to settle things down. Drawing a good reaction from the crowd here in Calgary. Referee gives both men a warning to keep it clean. And we resume the action here in round two. Good opening couple of rounds for Jank Trotter. Can 
continues to chop away at McClellan's midsection. No doubt part of his playbook. And a good right hand over the top. McClellan is coming up from welterweight in this fight, and he did sound concerned about weathering the early storm from Trotter in post-fight interviews. And that brings round two to a close. Round three underway. Trotter starts out aggressively again, throws a right hand over the top. McClellan looking to respond with a right hand of his own. Good shot to the body by Trotter. Continues to back McClellan up and lands a hard right hand over the top. McClellan skirts away to his right. Showing again, he's looking to stay out of the way of that right hand. Good evasion there by McClellan. He got out of the way of that right hand. Jenks is really throwing that right hand with some heat. Both men landing some punches on the clinch. And the referee looks to be warning McClellan not to use his forearm. Good right hand by Trotter. That got the crowd's attention. And a good left hook by Trotter. Pressure is carrying away in the early going. Good jab from McClellan, who's looking to establish distance. Fighting from range would really be to his advantage. So far, Trotter hasn't given him the opportunity. Jenks has really been keeping the fight at close quarters. Right hand by McClellan. Good right hand over the top by Trotter. Body shot by Trotter as he backs McClellan up once again. Good right hand over the top. And McClellan looking to hold. Perhaps stifle a little bit of this pressure in the early going. Stu is really going to have to start letting his hands go. Good right hand by McClellan. Starting to find his timing a little bit more here in round three. Trotter continues to push forward. Some good measuring jabs by Trotter, backing McClellan up. And McClellan sticks his own left lead in there. Snaps Trotter's head back momentarily. That does not deter the Calgary fighter who continues to press forward. Good right hand over the top by McClellan. And this Trotter continues to fire away as things come to a close in round three. And we're underway in round four. Stuart McClellan in the red trunks, Jenks Trotter in the black and white trunks, the main event of Teofista Boxing Series 18. 154-pound CPBC title fight. Jenks Trotter seemingly with an early lead due to effective aggression. Stuart McClellan did his best to weather the early storm and is still in the fight. But can he make an adjustment? That becomes the question of the day. He's going to have to come up with something to make it interesting here because it's been mostly Trotter in the early going. And the Calgary Charge looks to start out strong in round four, once again backing McClellan up. Good body shot by Trotter. McClellan with a good left hook, catches Trotter on the way in.
Good right hand by Trotter. McClellan answers back with a right hand of his own. McClellan seems to be moving a bit better here early in round four. Trotter still pressing forward. McClellan jabbing and moving well. Good right hand by Trotter. McClellan catches him over the top with a right hand on the way in. Lands a good body shot of his own. Good rally from McClellan there. Some of his better work in the fight so far. As he looks to keep the fight in the center of the ring for a moment, but Trotter presses back as his MO. Strong effective pressure. Pulls McClellan to the ropes. Good left hook and right hand by Trotter. And another slip. Referee notes no knockdown. And the bout continues. Good right hand. Another right hand over the top by Trotter. He's very crafty the way he'll switch to southpaw sometimes here. Clellan looking to turn the tables. Backs off again. Another good round for Trotter in the early going as round four comes to a close. And we're underway in round five. Trotter starts out fast, largely picking up where he left off, backing McClellan up. Good right hand over the top by Trotter. Good jab from McClellan. Some nice defense there by McClellan. Trotter scoring with right hands over the top. Right hand has been his bread and butter largely so far in the bout. Good right hand by McClellan. And a good jab by McClellan. Looking to stay off the ropes a bit more here in round five. Cracks Trotter with another jab. Comes forward with a few good right hands. Another good right hand by Trotter. Clellan using a bit more movement here in round five. Local crowd egging Trotter on. Good right hand by McClellan. As we are halfway through the main event. Scheduled for 10 rounds. Some good exchanges, McClellan going to the body for First time in the fight. Good right hand over the top. As the fighters begin to clinch. Referee calls break. And the action resumes. More good defense by McClellan. He's managed to evade some of Trotter's bigger shots in this round so far. Good jab and right hand by McClellan, who seems to be coming forward a bit more now as we reach the halfway point in the fight.
And round five comes to a close. And we're underway in round six. Main event of Tio Vista Boxing Series 18, the Deerfoot Inn Casino in Calgary. Both fighters looking to start fast here as we're past the midway point. Good pressure by Trotter in the early going. McClellan lands a good counter right hand. Chopping left hook by McClellan as he backs away and utilizes movement. Good right hand by McClellan. Trotter answers right back. Another good right hand by McClellan, who's looking to time Trotter on the way in. Follows up with a left hook. Good jab as he moves out. McClellan looking a little bit better here with his timing and his movement as he rakes Trotter with another left hook. Good body shots by McClellan and a good left hook. Some of his best work in the bout so far. Some blood on the face of Jenks Trotter at this point. Something that's never deterred him in the past as he continues to come forward. But some good work by McClellan here in round six. As he gets his jab going. It's effective with his movement. Trotter answers back. And McClellan pushes Trotter to the ropes momentarily. Good right hand by Trotter. McClellan answers back with a right hand of his own. A renewed sense of confidence here from Stuart McClellan. He's having one of his better sequences here in the fight in round six. He sticks Trotter with the jab. Trotter answers back with a lead of his own. Some good spring in his step. And a good right hand over the top. Ooh, sneaky right hand by McClellan. Times Trotter on the way in. Another right hand. Some good exchanges here in round six. Good uppercut by Trotter. Cullen shakes it off. Good right hand over the top by Trotter. So we reach the closing seconds of round number six. Fighters engage in the center of the ring. And a much better round from Stuart McClellan. Making things interesting here as round six comes to a close. <laughs> round seven underway. What is turning out to be an interesting fight in the main event here of Tio Fista Boxing Series 18. Good right hand over the top by Jenks Trotter. Clellan looking to keep things in the center of the ring. Makes Trotter miss with a swinging right hand. Scheduled for 10 rounds. You have to wonder if fatigue is a factor for either man at this point. Good counter right hand by McClellan. Good chopping right hand by Trotter in response. McClellan pawing with the jab, creating some distance. It's been a lot better at keeping Trotter off of him the last couple of rounds here. Trotter still pressing forward, but not with the same degree of, that he was early in the bout.
Good right hand over the top by Trotter. Good left hook and jab by McClellan. Another good right hand and left hook by McClellan. Hard right hand over the top by Trotter. Follows it up with a good left hook. Good left hook by McClellan. Followed by a good right hand. Fighters are going tit for tat here in round seven. Some good exchanges. Trotter continues to come forward. Some good shots by McClellan on the inside. Some of his best work. And he has Trotter's face marked up quite a bit here. Always the warrior, Trotter continues to press forward. Letting his hands go. Ooh, good right hand to punctuate the round for Trotter. McClellan comes back, lands a good body shot, and the bell goes to bring round seven to a close. Round eight underway. A very interesting fight here as Jenks Trotter seemed to carry the early rounds. Stuart McClellan has been coming back after the halfway point. Done some good work in spots. Trotter looks to go back to stepping on the gas early here in round eight. Good work on the inside by both fighters. Fighting off the clinch. Close quarters here as McClellan looks to stay off the ropes and similar story, Jenks Trotter looks to force him back. Lands a good left hand from the southpaw stance. Some good moments of switch hitting here as Jenks Trotter has gone back and forth from orthodox to southpaw. At the moment, he's jabbing with his left hand. Good right hand. Backs McClellan up. Another good right hand over the top, but McClellan responds with a left hook of his own. Still room for both men to step up here late in the fight. As McClellan lets his hands go, jabs, follows up with a right, and the fighters clinch. Good jabs and a left hook by McClellan. Seems to be targeting that area on Jenks' face where there is some blood leaking. Pace has slowed somewhat here in round eight. Good right hand and left hook by Trotter. McClellan comes back with a jab. Looks to move out of range. And round eight has come to a close.
Round nine. CPBC 154 pound title on the line. As Trotter comes out with urgency. McClellan doing his best to evade, showing some good defense. Blocks the right hand from Trotter. Fighters exchange in the center of the ring. Good left hook by McClellan. Spins Trotter's head. He's getting some good work done here early in round nine. Trotter still doing his best to come forward. Constant aggressor throughout this bout. Referee warns Trotter for seemingly pushing with the forearm. Fighters come together and Trotter slips. No knockdown called. Good left hook and right hand by McClellan. Seems to have his timing down late in the fight. He's finding Trotter at the end of his punches more often than he was in the first half. Good left hook, blocked by Trotter. Jenks comes back with a left of his own. A good chopping overhand right. McClellan looking to stay busy on the inside. Good right hand by both men on the inside. Trade right hands again. And look to work off the clinch. As the referee lets them fight their way out of it. Some good work by both men on the inside. And what looks like a close round nine here as we approach the final seconds of the stanza. Well, and a bit busier in this round. Using his jab well. And round nine comes to a close. And the tenth and final round is underway. So the fighters touch gloves, showing mutual respect. What has been an interesting fight here in the main event of Teofista Boxing Series 18. This is the tenth and final round between Jenks Trotter and Stuart McClellan. With the CPBC Canadian Junior Middleweight title on the line. Good right hand by McClellan. Spun Trotter's head there. Good left hook by McClellan. Both men looking to show, close the show strong. And some great action here in the final round so far. Good jab and right hand by Trotter. Misses the mark with the follow up. McClellan sticking the jab. He's really found his timing here late in the fight. Both men trading hooks at close quarters. Good action as both fighters let their hands go. Trotter misses with a swinging right hand. The fighters clinch, the referee breaks them up and action resumes. Another miss by Trotter. 
A little bit more roughhousing here late in the bout. Both men continue to clinch and look to work off the clinch. Good action in the center of the ring. Trotter looking to measure McClellan. Missed there with the uppercut. Both men showing some signs of fatigue here late in the bout. McClellan continues to time Trotter on the way in. Having some success with counter punching late in the fight. Trotter still looking to do his best to press forward as he's done all night, to his credit. Ten seconds left in the bout. As both fighters let their hands go. Good right hand by Trotter. And that brings this bout to a close. Fighters embrace, again showing respect. And this one is going to the judges' scorecards.